When I first went to the site in the bottom of the river, you see these whale bones and, and shark teeth just poking out. The river's raging. It's like holding onto a car going 65 mile an hour down the highway. Everything east of the Route 95 on the east side of the United States was underwater at one time. The seas receded and uh, what was left behind were ancient marine fossil deposits. See how the Around 2013, I actually pulled up some, some of the fossils, but um, there was a, a really large whale skull that I did not pull up. Try to figure out how we were gonna dig it out and then how we were gonna actually lift something that's three to 500 pounds from the bottom of a river in black water and get it back up onto the boat. Today we were able to pull up a five million year old skull. This is a baleen whale skull. It's very, very large. Now that the skull is dried out a little bit, I contacted Stephen Godfrey of the Calvert Marine Museum and uh, he looked at the skull and he definitely confirmed that it was a baleen whale skull and we're looking anywhere from four and a half to five and a half million years old. The skull was around seven feet if it was complete, just based on the evidence that we had. So that we're looking at a whale that's probably four, close to 40 feet in length and somewhere around 30 tons. So this would be where the brain would sit of the whale. These were ancient shallow seas and often calving areas for whales. So they become a great food source for large sharks like megalodon or very, very large mako sharks. So a lot of the bones that we find have lacerations or chomp marks from these large sharks you pull these fossils up and they tell a story, the, the bite marks and laceration marks to the size of the, of the teeth and the types of sharks, they all tell a story. And it's a huge puzzle, you're putting the pieces together. And this piece would actually fit right in here. 